What we're gonna talk about today is new car leather. How do you take care of it? How do you clean it? What we have here is Porsche Carrera Turbo S. It is a kick-ass car. Roughly, it costs between $150,000 and $180,000 to paint on your option. So a lot of people get very cautious and concerned with like, oh my gosh, how do I how do I uh, take care of leather? How do I clean it? You know, it's this very expensive car. I don't know how much your car costs, but this car is expensive. Heaven forbid we do any damage to it. Therefore, we've got to start with the rules. Rules of engagement. First one, always wear gloves. Why do I wear gloves? Not because I'm overly concerned with my hands, but because I am concerned with the car that costs $150,000. And if I have a hangnail and I'm aggressively, anxiously engaged in cleaning this seat, I do not want to catch a hangnail on this leather and leave a permanent mark. That would not be good. Also, pre-vacuum. We always pre-vacuum. Why do we do that? Because you will have dry debris, dirt that will be contained on the seat. Even though it's not cloth and it doesn't really soak up dirt, you will have dirt within these seams. You need to pull these seams apart and you need to check. It will be a rude awakening to most of you to find out just how much crap accumulates in the seams of the seat. Just like that recliner inside your house where you're looking for loose change, all kinds of crap will get in these seams. I don't know how many times my guys have cleaned the seat and then I come along and I pull the seam apart and it's like, hey dude, you forgot to clean the seat. What's going on? How many times do I have to tell you? So pull these seams apart. Every seat is going to be different. So pre-vacuum. Next safety tip. Make sure the tip of your vacuum has no burrs on it. I don't care what you use. Sandpaper, steel wool, something. And check it. Drag it across your skin and make sure there's nothing that's going to damage this leather. Once you ring that bell and you've done some damage, there's no one ringing that bell. So trust me. <laughs> That is a horror that you don't want revealed to you in a nanosecond because you take the wrong swipe and you got a little burr on the tip of your nozzle and you're like, oh my gosh, okay, there's no unwinding that. So those are the safety precautions. Anyhow, Lexol, I'm going to demonstrate a couple products. The first one's Lexol because it's well known. This is also pH balanced and glycerin rich. Okay, that's a whole nother topic. This goes under the category of marketing and advertising hype. Point is, is new car leather, you don't have to overthink it because if you just maintain it from the get-go, it's very straightforward. Now this Lexol is actually kind of a soupy gel-like formulation. So if I was just, I can, I can spray it on this and it's just kind of gel like okay this seat also has perforations in it so I want to apply a little common sense and make sure I don't saturate this so extensively that this liquids actually going to seep into the perforations because there is parts below the seat because it's a high-end sports car it has heated seats it may even have air conditioning seats I don't know about this car in particular usually the luxury sedans have those point is is we want to apply a little caution because of the perforations you don't have to overthink it you spray you rub aggressively it's that straightforward you can also just saturate your cloth and when I say saturate I don't mean so it's dripping but enough liquid on it to do some cleaning pretty straightforward now I personally to simplify my world and I know I don't have to use a dedicated leather cleaner because the reality is is I'm not actually cleaning the leather virtually every leather in every car that's made today regardless of cost of that car will be finished in a leather that has a clear protective water-based coating to it that's the good news because it makes it more resistant to staining and dirt and allows it to be cleaned easier so really what you're cleaning is not true natural leather it's a natural product called leather that's been sealed and coated with unnatural product that is the good news believe it or not so to simplify my world I'm gonna go with an all-purpose cleaner that I know I can use on the vinyl the leather whatever so this one is put out by Meguiar because most car owners when they first get a car 
they are emotionally attached to that car and they want to keep it clean from the get-go. Well, thumbs up to that plan. I highly recommend it because if you do that, leather cleaning is so straightforward. You can simply spray and wipe. As easy as that. Spray and wipe. Make sure you force the cloth into the seams though. Because like I said, there will be dirt down in those seams. And every car and every seat is configured differently. The very next step will be Johnny car owner, such as yourself, will buy a new car and you'll be hyper vigilant with it for the first few months. But then life happens and you find that you just don't have time to take care of your leather. So six months go by, maybe even a year goes by, and suddenly your leather upholstery has become actually dirty, not like the superficial dirt that you can just wipe away. So that's where additional tools come in to play so you can spray and between these two handy dandy tools this is a non abrasive synthetic nylon scrub pad typically you're gonna find them in the uh, stores typically used in the kitchen I use them in the car and you can simply scrub the excessively dirty areas with that or next step because not all leather is created equal and what I mean by that is it does not all have the same texture this leather and this Porsche happens to actually be on the very smooth side so this would be ideal because it's pretty smooth but some leather has a very thick heavy texture to it it will require bristles to get into that texture or that fingerprint you can call it whatever you want so you will have to sit here and scrub and force those bristles into that texture in order to break up that dirt loosen it and then be able to remove it once again this is an expensive car but with that said is I can use this scrub brush on this leather and it is completely safe Now, not all scrub brushes are created equal, I understand, so this is a, a winning combination of not too aggressive, and I always test them out by, you know, scrubbing my own arm. If it's drawing blood, like I said, not a good, <laughs> that's not a good indicator, but this is the winning combination. So, depending on how much dirt you're dealing with, if it's brand new, you don't have to overthink it. If you want to simplify your life, you can use an all-purpose cleaner. I highly recommend keeping up on it from the beginning. Prevention's always better than the cure, but it's pretty straightforward. You just appropriately use the product and the techniques based on your unique situation, which is going to be determined by the texture of the material, the leather, and the amount of dirt you're dealing with. You got to remember, after you've cleaned it, make sure you force that cloth down into the seams because that liquid will have seeped down into that seams. Once again, I don't know how many times I've come along after the fact my guys have cleaned and I've opened up the seam only to find that it's still wet. Not a good thing. Whether you're vacuuming or mopping up, make sure you, you force those seams open and you get down in there. Past that, I think I've covered all the details. Okay, so until next time, we will see you on the other side. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 